on my calendar, yes. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Mr. Mooney. Yes, 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 well, yes. Uh, well, about Mrs. Carmichael, well, there are some things you should be warned about. <laughs> <laughs> Told about. Thank you, Miss Tanner. That won't be necessary. Mr. Barnstall already filled me in. He left me a little memo. 27 pages. 27 pages? <laughs> Single space. <laughs> I could hardly put it down last night. <laughs> Apparently, this woman will stop at nothing to get money from the bank. You know, it says here uh, she will threaten, wheedle, cajole, cry, implore, jolly, and even stage tantrum. Oh, it's true. Well, I think she will find that she has met her match in Theodore Mooney. <laughs> here she is. <laughs> Thank you. Mr. Mooney? Yes? I'm Lucy Carmichael. I believe we have an appointment. Mrs. Carmichael? <laughs> Mrs. Mrs. Carmichael. Just a moment. Mrs. Carmichael. Please sit down. Sit down. Yes. Are you comfortable? Yes, thank you. Mrs. Carmichael, I have certainly been looking forward to meeting you. Well, I've certainly been looking forward to meeting you, too. You know, Mrs. Carmichael, we have something in common. You flunked arithmetic, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Our sons are in the same class at school. Oh, well, it's a small world, isn't it? <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael, I don't want you to look on me as your banker. Think of me as your... Friend. Now, if there's anything I can do to help, please let me know. Well, as a matter of fact, there is a little something you could do for me. Anything at all? Uh, I'd like to have $50. I see. It's that simple. All I have to do is advance you $50 on your next month's allowance. Yes, it's that simple. <laughs> could I have it? No. <laughs> I told Mrs. Bagley that you were sweet. What? No. <laughs> no. But you don't even know why I need it. It doesn't matter. Look, Mr. Moon, I don't think you understand. You see, we um, took the $50 for the next car payment to pay for the repairs. So if you don't give me $50, we're going to lose the car. Oh, my, that was bad planning. <laughs> Well, if that's your final answer. It is. Mr. Meany, you're a Mooney. I mean, <laughs> you're a Meany. Are you going to let me have that money, or aren't you? No, I am not. Mooney is a Meany. Mooney is a Meany. Mrs. Thomas, please. Mooney is a Meany. Mooney is a Meany. Mooney is a Meany. Please, 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 Mrs. Thomas. Mooney is a Meany. 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 Mooney I'll tell you what I'll do. If you can save $25 out of your allowance, I will match it with another $25. How could I possibly save $25 out of my allowance? Economize. Put yourself on a budget. Do away with all your, your fripperies. We have already economized so much that our idea of a frippery is day-old bread. <laughs> that is my offer. Take it or leave it. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Hi. Hi, girl. You finish 
all your hair up? Yeah. I'll take you to the bank. Did you get the money? Yeah, I got the money. Sort of. <laughs> you didn't get it. Sort of. Somehow that last sort of rings a whole lot truer. Now, Dad, there's no need to worry. Mr. Mooney is going to give me $25 if I can show him that I can save $25 out of my allowance. You save money out of your allowance? Well, you sound like I never have. You haven't. Well, then this will be the first time. Oh. Now, I have lots of plans for economizing. Look at this. What's that? That's a do-it-yourself barber kit. <laughs> Kitty. Not at all. From now on, it's free haircuts for everybody. <laughs> Jerry, come here, honey. Come on down here. Lucy, you don't know anything about barbering. It says right here, anyone who can comb hair can cut hair. <laughs> what do you think? Anyone who can dig a hole can fall in it. <laughs> what do you want, Mom? Uh, next? <laughs> oh, I can't bear to watch this. Huh? <laughs> Come on, honey, I have a home barber kit, and from now on, I'm going to cut your hair at home. Not your only son. <laughs> Get in the chair. Oh, Mom. Get in the chair. Well, sir, haven't seen you in my shop for some time. <laughs> now, how would you like your hair cut? By somebody else. <laughs> Never mind, all the other barbers are busy. Now, sit around. Jerry, stop wiggling now. Come on. Jerry. I got to answer the door. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Arnold. Come on, I want you to meet my mother. Mom, Arnold is the new boy in our class. Well, hi, Arnold. Jerry will be right with you as soon as I cut his hair. Come on. Arnold, would you like to take my place? Well, now uh, you would be something of a challenge at that. <laughs> Wait, would you like to have me cut your hair, Arnold? Do you give lollipops? Well, do you wiggle? No. I give lollipops. <laughs> Get up there. Here we are. Thank goodness. I'll be out in the yard, Arnold. Yeah, well, you're next, buddy. Now, sir, let's see what we have here. Uh-huh. Uh... -huh. uh what do you think about the uh, football game Saturday? That's uh, quite a team they have there, don't you think? Uh, no, I'll bet you that team, bet you that Notre Dame can make the World Series. <laughs> Cowboys and Indians? Yeah, I'm always one of the cowboys. Well, next time, be an Indian. <laughs> I can't stand it any longer. I've got to see what you're doing to Jerry. <laughs> Lucy, you've changed his face. <laughs> Lillian, this is Arnold, a new little friend of Jerry. Uh, would you get him a lollipop, please? I ought to get him a lawyer. <laughs> Here you are, Arnold. Uh, wait a minute, honey. Where do you live? Uh, maybe I better drive you home, have a little talk with your folks. I'm not going home. I'm going to meet my father at the bank. <laughs> father? Bank? New boy in school. Your name wouldn't be Mooney, would it? Sure, Arnold Mooney. Arnold Mooney. <laughs> What would you like to say for dinner, or maybe the weekend, or, uh, or or spend a couple of months? How fast does your hair grow, anyway? Bye! Goodbye, Arnold. Hello, finance company. Oh, now, Viv, maybe it isn't that bad. We aren't sure that Mr. Mooney's going to be upset about Arnold's hair. We aren't. <laughs> We are. <laughs> First thing tomorrow morning, I better get down to the bank and apologize. <laughs> Mr. Mooney, I've got to 
talk to you. Oh, no. <laughs> it's you, the scalper. <laughs> Mr. Mooney, I came to apologize. Well, I was hoping you'd come here to hold us up. Then we could at least shoot it out. <laughs> now, sir, I don't blame you for being a little upset. Upset? I'm not upset. Now, just get out of here and never darken my balls again! But you just gotta give me a few minutes to, to explain. Now, Mrs. Carmichael, you. Don't! 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 <laughs> Why did you do that? <laughs> Because we are not leaving this room until you give me time to tell you my side of the story. We are not leaving this room until nine o'clock tomorrow morning. <laughs> what do you mean by that? We are locked in. We're not. We are. But, but, but that's impossible. Oh, no, it isn't. It's a time lock. It works automatically. Oh, dear. Oh. Somebody must have the combination. Somebody on the outside must know how to open it. Oh, of course. Why didn't I think of it? Somebody can open it from the outside. Well, of course. Who has the combination? I have. <laughs> Boy, talk about bad planning. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That is a new lock. I sent a copy of the combination to the president of our New York office. They must be getting in touch with him right now. Oh, good. Oh, yes. Now, let's see. He'd get that combination this morning, because I mailed the letter last night, you see. I made a special delivery, registered, return receipt, request... Re oh, no! Well, I... I guess we're stuck. Well, we'll just have to make the best of it. At least we can talk. You know, this will give us a good chance to get to know each other better. I know you better than I want to already. <laughs> what time is it? How long have we been in here? Three hours and 37 minutes. <laughs> it's 6.15. 6.15? Why did you have to tell me that? Well, you asked me. Yeah, but now my stomach knows it's dinner time. I know, I'm hungry too. Oh. Wait, I forgot, my groceries. Groceries? Yeah. What? You're... Take an apple. <laughs> Bottle brush. Beans. Baked beans! Baked beans! Baked beans! Yeah, Beep. boy. <laughs> Knowing you, I bet you didn't bring a can opener. No, I didn't. Oh, wait, we're in luck. Macaroni. <laughs> uncooked macaroni? Well, it's all we've got. Gee, I've never eaten uncooked macaroni either. <laughs> Boy. Not bad. Have some? Never. <laughs> Must you chew so loudly? It's a little difficult to chew uncooked macaroni softly. <laughs> Guess I'll save the rest for later. Thank goodness. Oh, you want to play poker? Poker? Do you have a deck of cards? Well, they're children's cards. They belong to my little boy. I bought them at the store today. It's a game called Who's in the Barnyard? <laughs> Who's in the Barnyard? Yeah, but I think we can adapt them for poker. Here, give them a good shuffle or I'll clear off the table. Uh -huh. I'll, uh, I'll take two. One, two. I'll play these. I'll 
bet five thousand. <laughs> five thousand it is, and I'll raise you twenty thousand. <laughs> I'll see you. Two bunnies. Taking all the big ones. <laughs> one for you, one Twenty. Twenty. Do I hear thirty? 
30. Do I hear 40? 40. 40 now, gentlemen. Have you inspected the quality of this macaroni? The roundness, the texture, and the nutrition. Each piece in itself is a meal. Fifty dollars $50 sold to the hungry-looking gentleman below. Fifty dollars, please. <laughs> $50. The door is opening! We're free! Carmichael, could yes. you tell me exactly how this thing happened? Oh, are you a reporter? Yes, I am. Oh, well, actually, it was all my fault. I did the dumbest thing. You see, I wanted to talk to Mr. Mooney in private. So without realizing what I was doing, when I got in there, I closed the door. Oh. Yes, oh, I do. I closed the door like that. Mr. Mooney is still in there. Oh, no. Yes, he is. He didn't come out. Come on, 